Hey everybody, scop a doobly dum 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 diddly boo is back with an episode of my garage. Um, rims. We talked. We spoke. People made their decision. You deliver pizzas occasionally. Look. Could you do? Could you bring me one next time, please? Okay, listen here. All right, we're. I'm gonna talk to you, man to man. I'm doing my intro. I'm trying to do my video. <clears throat> you need to stop. I will have to kill you and. There'll be sad people out there. They love you. All right, so let's see. This is the, this is the one. People wanted the one with the, the lip. So we're buying four of those. And we got to buy tires that fit. And the consensus was low profile tires. So we'll do those as well. But we got to open the door. And we should probably fix the fix the truck. <laughs> there we go. Um, the truck will have to be pounded out a bit. I'm sick and tired of hitting things. I'll tell you that much. But the game doesn't give any leeway for hitting stuff. Like, you rub anything, and that's, that's the end of it. <clears throat> it's kind of a whole thing. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to be clearing my throat a bit today. Allergies are acting up. What size are these, 15s? 15 inches. Okay, so low profile, 15-inch tires. Standard 15s, low profile tires. Okay. There we go. Rubber bands. <laughs> it's going to look terrible, but that's that's fine. All right. There'll be less sidewall flex, that's for sure. And then we hit a pothole, we'll blow the tire, but that's fine. All right. <laughs> and where I live, you you probably couldn't run super low cars and stuff because the roads are terrible. All right, let me see. So that's that. Let's check out this damage again. I think we can pound some of this out with the hammer, but we definitely dinked the bumper again. Ugh. That might be an end of episode fix thing. Who knows? Or maybe I'll just leave it. Okay, let me see here. This can come off. Put this into drive. Okay, wait a minute. I did it again. There we go. Okay. Oh! Yep, broke something there. Yep, what? Uh <laughs> oh. Good gravy. The things do not like to be off-roaded in this game in the slightest. Although it's still tracking straight, so I probably just did more damage to the, the bumper. Oh, well, you know what? It's it's a work truck, so who cares? As long as it's running and driving straight, I don't care. Yeah. You're, who cares what a truck like? I don't know. People always worry about what their trucks look like. It's, dude, it's a truck. Like, come on. <laughs> it's, it's a truck. It's made to be beat up. It's a friggin' truck. Get on your own side of the road, or get off mine anyway. All right, let me see here. Okay. We're going to see how much more extra damage we did. <clears throat> but the bumper's already dinked anyway, so if we damage the bumper more, it's not going to matter. Okay, let's see. I'm not checking my gauges either. Hope I didn't, like, destroy the radiator. No, she's still running cold, cold. Wait a minute, do all those gauges even work? We don't know. Now, people always wonder why I'm parking back so far. It's because uh, I don't want the car in case there's a... Some of these parts explode off of cars. Oh, look at that. No extra damage, but... Let me just grab a hammer real quick here. Is it over here? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, let's, uh, hey, that pounded out pretty good. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, so, you know what? The panel's not horrific. It's not quite lined up as well as it used to, as you can see right along here, but, yeah, we got a little bumper, and uh, that'll fix that. Might as well just leave this here, because we're probably where we're going to need it. All righty, let me see. Oh, yeah, wheels. Oh, it doesn't matter, because we don't have the, uh, brakes or anything on it yet but i love these i love this wide panel thing oh wait a minute oh did we not did we buy spacers last time i don't remember oh i did i did i buy the spacers that are like i did sweet because that was something i actually wanted to check we bought the steering wheel which is going to be really nice. And the 
the 50 minute. Like, I don't want to go stupid wide with it, but I also don't want it tucked up in the wheel well too far. These rims are lovely and shiny. All right, put these over here. <sighs> Boy, adding the reflections in this really, really makes a difference to the visuals. Like, I know it's experimental, but it works fairly well. It does do a pretty huge hit to the frame rate, though. So, you know, <laughs> there is that. Like, I lose about 30 or 40 frames a second on my 4090 <laughs> doing this. Hey, stop rolling away, wheel. Get over here. None of this for you. You go right here. Look how shiny these are. You know, I've never bought a brand new set of rims for a car in my life. Um, used, yes. New, no. Did I? There it is. Um, and for my Mustang, it'll be the first time I uh, I buy new ones. And I know which ones I want, but finding them in Canada is impossible. Uh, they're a Velgen VF5 is what I want. Either in a copper color, like bronze, or a satin black. I haven't decided. Uh, so if anybody knows in Canada where you can get those, because <laughs> shipping them from, from the States sucks, because they got to pay duty at the border, because anything you can buy here, they charge you duty on, right? And they don't categorize things like, oh, that specific thing. Like, it's always like, okay, you can buy wheels in Canada. <laughs> so why do you have to have those ones? We're paying duty. And duty can get really heavy on those things. So, uh, there we go, and done. Okay, so, we got most of the front suspension together, and then, wow, the rear, the only thing that's any good here is the pan hard bar, or the watts link, or whatever that is. Oh, I guess the upper control arm back here is not the worst. Uh, we're going to have to get a jack under this. Okay, let's just pull that out of there. There we go. We should be able to get this up somewhat. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to... You know what? I might cut out the floor first. Because uh, some of this stuff is kind of attached to those things. Yeah, I might have to uh, cut the floor out of this. And that particular wheel well over there where's my grind air um two 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 mm, grinder there it is <sighs> it sucks that the seats are shot but i may keep them because they match the interior until i can buy new white seats <sighs> let's see okay well this is actually not great because this is where the uh <laughs> this is what the suspension's using or the uh jacks using to hold up the car <laughs> So that's not going to go well. What if I just get it right to the edge here? Nope, not quite. We're on an uneven surface, which is not ideal for jacking off or up or whatever we're doing. Okay, let me see. Okay, we're going to hopefully... Uh, we're going to need a new one. Okay. How many are left in here? Inside two. Uh, we're gonna, I think we have more in the truck. I should have bought like 50 of those boxes. Am I going to be out here all the time? Doing this work? <sighs> Does anybody else notice that it's missing its gas tank? <laughs> all right, this is out. And let's see if we can get this wheel well out while we're here. Okay, what is this? It's this one. Okay. That one. That one. Okay. Oh, and the crappy shock absorber came off with it. Perfect. <clears throat> so this is a wheel well right rear left. And a trunk floor, right? Watch over the door. Okay, let's see. So we want the, a lot of coop. We want the body. We want, nope, we want... Um, the rear left wheel well. And... Where's the floor? Oh, there it is, right there. 
Sweet. Okay, so we should probably install the wheel well first. <clears throat> to give the floor something to attach to. Welder? Oh, there you are, buddy. All right, let's bring you over here. We're probably going to need a new electrode. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not easy to see here. I'm going to bring these over here just in case I need them. Electrode, where'd you go, buddy? By the way, if you ever, <clears throat> for example, break a glass, I learned this. And, uh, you know, you have little shards of glass on the floor and you can't always see them. Take a flashlight, turn it on and lay it on the ground. So it's like flat to the ground like this. And it'll cast shadows off of whatever you're trying to hit. The smallest of things are noticeable uh, by the light. Okay, can we get it on there? Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to go right there for now. Okay. Boy, they really don't make these easy to see, do they? Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Bam Margera. All right. Now to get the floor pan in. Do you know I've stopped watching two types of videos pretty much on YouTube? Um, cooking videos and anything about guns. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because everybody nowadays, for whatever reason, does this stupid thing where they grab the object like cooking and they have to slap it down they can't just place it down it's always like slap 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 and you'll see them like slapping the chicken breast down or whatever they're working with and the same with the gun thing it's always like take the box and they dump it all over the table of ammo and all this is like dude just act like a normal human please all right let's see um it's always so aggressive when it did like needlessly aggressive for no reason and it just it just annoys me it's like jesus like it's, you know you see with tech youtubers too a lot it's starting to happen where they slap things down or drop things really hard or whatever. And it's like, just stop. Like, <laughs> like stop being an idiot. All right. Does that sail panel? That looks a bit off kilter, doesn't it? Uh, maybe. I think it is. Cause look at that window. Where's my, my Hummer. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that window is. Now, we may have pounded that out. It may need some Bondo to. No, it just may. Maybe it's we fixed it and the windows just misaligned slightly. Either way, it's not a huge problem. It's nothing we can uh, probably have to worry about. Let's just try replacing the window. There we go. And then putting it back in. Bam. No, it's still got a. It's like that panel isn't quite, maybe it just, it's always like that. And I just never noticed before. Lots of wind noise. All right. So where was I? Oh yeah. We're going to do the rear suspension now. If you want me to watch your video, don't be stupid. Don't slap things around and bash things around. You don't have to be super nice and kind to it. I'm just saying everybody does the same thing nowadays and it's just silly. Oh, there we go. This is, uh, this is gone. Looks like the drive shaft is kind of not great either. Oh, that's gone. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Let's see here. The, everything else looks good. I would like to get that drive shaft out, but... Oh, <laughs> interesting. I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon. Oh, well, maybe we can. Hang on. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm stuck. But it's out. Okay, drop that. Oh, I made it. Okay, nice. Career drive shaft. Ugh. This is all stuff for the junk truck, but again, we found out the junk like this doesn't uh, sell for any more at the uh, at the other guy's place, so there's no point in us dragging it around everywhere. 
don't know why I, still, I didn't sell the engine either. <clears throat> I should probably should have sold that. Oops, there we go. So basically, we need the entire rear suspension of, of this. Well, not all of it, but uh, we need two lower control arms, one upper control arm, and, a, and an axle. <clears throat> so let's see here. It should be all under suspension. So. <clears throat> okay, rear upper. What did I say we needed? We needed both of these. That. Well, might as well get the drive shaft while we're here. Not that we need it quite yet, but we'll get it. We're going to need an axle. We're going to need... <sighs> Two of these and a differential that's locked. Oh, they got adjustable springs. I didn't even know that. Well, well, how now, brown cow? Now, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go in the middle, 4 2 locked. I might replace all my springs with these adjustable springs. Sweet. Okay, let's see. You can go here for a minute. All right, we're going to put this other lower control arm in. Or upper control arm, I should say. Where's my wrench? I want to bolt this stuff down as I go because I'll forget to bolt it down. Otherwise, there it is. And we'll tighten that up. <clears throat> okay. Did I grab the wrong thing? Oh, no, that's the drive shaft. There we go. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. This is the... Oh, I need the lower control arm. I just bought the regular one. Whoops. Well, I can go to uh, <clears throat> that. Let me see here. Okay, lower control arm. That's the one I want there. Okay, perfect. There we go. What? Oh, I had it. Where'd it go? I was like, why isn't that going in? Okay. Got it. <clears throat> As for the axle, can I build it outside the car? Because it'd be nice if I could. Oh, there we go. And that can go in. Uh, these are center locked ones. No, they are not. Oh, here we go. There we go. Excellent. Okay, because I like the idea of the adjustable ones because then we can set it up for rally or for like high speed cornering. That all that bolts in. There we go. Okay. So let's buy. We need rear springs. <clears throat> I'm curious about those uh, adjustable ones because they're the expensive ones, right? Yeah, they're much more. Let's get them. And then we can always replace the front springs with that because I think that would be fun. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's put this in. Okay. There we are. Okay. That locks that in. We're gonna put the put the upper one in if I can find the there we go. <clears throat> okay, that one's fine. There we go. And this is good. Okay. Now do we have to use the I'm assuming we need the um <clears throat> the spring compressor to do this, so we'll put that in. Okay, there we go. There we are. And then, I'm not sure how you adjust it. Is it like a... A lot of them have like a, a bolt on top you can turn. Or a collar you can twist. I'm not sure. <clears throat> like right there, that's the adjustment thing. You can ad usually adjust them here. Is it with the wrench, maybe? 
I would love to know where my wrench went. Um, <laughs> has anybody seen my wrench? What the? Uh. Um. Hey guys, <laughs> I, I don't know where my wrench is. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, I couldn't remember where I put it. All right, excellent. Is this like wrenchable or something? Oh, it is. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Cause the front still needs its springs. Let's grab those. A little bit expensive for such a crappy car, but <clears throat> yeah. So you need the uh, tool to put them in. That's cool. This way we can get, you know, a couple of clicks up, a couple of clicks down. Now where to put my my tool? Jeez, why am I struggling with it so hard right now? Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> there it is. There you go. There, there you go. There you go. Okay, there we go. And you get and and you get. We're still gonna need shock absorbers for the front and the rear, but that's. <clears throat> is there performance ones nowadays or? Let's see. Um, steering rack. I don't see anything special for shock absorbers. So, two front, two rear. Okay, let's uh, bring this over here. This is the front one. Yep. Okay, nice. Okay, where does that? Okay, where is it? There it is. And boom. Okay. We're going to need another front shock absorber. <clears throat> the ones in the front are much shorter. Hey, did I notice that? Okay, let me see. Oops, there we had it. Right there. Okay, there we are. And there. Okay, we're making big progress today. Rear shockety shocks. They're inbound a bit on these. Okay, there we go. One of the coolest things I like is I like inboard brakes for the looks. <clears throat> and they're great until you gotta do maintenance. <laughs> then, then they're a problem. Okay. But they look really cool. Mm. There we go. And then. There. Okay, so there's the rear suspension, front suspension. Now, we really need brakes, I guess. So let's see. Uh, brake parts. Uh, we're going to need calipers. We're going to need five. We're going to need a bunch of those. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. <sighs> Now, these ones I can put on because they're just held on by one screwdriver or screw for a screwdriver. But why don't these fit? Are these rear brakes? Did I just grab four rear brakes? Brake disc rear. Oh, yeah, there we go. Whoops. Front. They'll be bigger. <laughs> All righty, let's see. Can I even get it on there without it freaking out? Yep, we got it on. And we got it on. I should just keep those for someone who needs a brake job. Because at some point I'm going to do a, 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 a Neve or something anyway. That's not a screwdriver. You're a screwdriver. There we are. 
there we are there and oh, come on there all right it's looking good now we need calipers front and rear okay rear left rear right front left front right disc pads front disc pads rear okay now let's break these into categories these are rear left that's front right rear right front left okay so there we go we got brake pads for the rear whenever i do this the first one never goes in i don't don't know why hey there we go see for whatever reason whenever i do this the first rarely like ever almost every time the, it'll just won't go in on the first crack there we go you know i'm really surprised they haven't added uh performance brakes yet like a bear big, big brake kit or a willwood or something okay all uh, right oh there we go front left caliper boom looking good front right caliper kudos to this thing for having disc brakes all around though what the rear right whoops here we go and rear left and we got to bolt them down um mm -hmm. oh no oh there it is Phew. Mm, there we go. <clears throat> I just had a conversation with a guy on my channel there. Oh, look, there's a welding rod right here. Who was always like, oh, my God, I can't believe you missed that and blah, blah, blah. And he was saying uh, he bought the game and he sent me a, uh, a message on the uh, comments. that says, yeah, so I'm missing stuff all the time, too. So I take back everything I said. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's easy. On a real car, it's a whole lot of different, right? But that's on. I can't remember which one I I started and stopped at here. I think we got all of them. Um, um, yeah, I think we got them all. All right. So now, wow, well, we need brake lines and stuff. Should we put the brake lines in? Didn't we have a set of brake lines kicking around here somewhere? Or did I get rid of them? You know what? Let's get the uh, master cylinder. And the main brake line. We'll get those in and I'll put the soft lines in. We should have an option to upgrade to, to uh, uh, braided cables. Oh, did I bring it in here with me? Damn it, I gotta remember right. I gotta start dropping this thing in the exact same place every time so I don't lose it. <sighs> Ready cables are great. They uh, don't flex as much. There we go. And then the main brake line, which needed something to attach to. That's why we put that in there. There we go. There we are. And that's good. And then we need to put in the soft lines, which we'll need for these. Okay. One. Oops, come here. Dude, two. Oh my God, just go in, please. <sighs> three 
and four. Which side did I just do? Is this? Did that one. Is it this one I have to do still? Or is it this one? There. Now we got to tighten up eight little bolts. There we go. This is easier with the wheels off. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. There we go. And there. And there. All right. Now what? Uh, I could probably put the dri uh, drive shaft's going to be a bear. <sighs> I really want to put the drive shaft in, but without the wheels on, it's always a pig. But we'll give it a shot. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, here we go. Well, getting it to the point where it's in isn't so bad. Like that, but getting it all tightened up, especially the front ones. Where's my... Oh, no, I did it again. There it is. Okay. Nope. There we go. Oh, come on. There, got it. Okay, perfect. Open this door by accident. That's fine, though. Okay, <laughs> there we go. You know what? While this is up in the air, let's put the rear wheels on it. No, it doesn't have a parking brake. So we're going to be real careful this doesn't roll away. So we might want to do that. handbrake and then is it the is it interior where the the handbrake pedal thing is there okay there we go now at some point i think that's a four speed transmission at some point we'll probably swap it up to a five but for now it looks like it's in good shape we might as well keep it okay in you go bud all right there we are and then this has got to go in. <sighs> now this, if I remember correctly, only attaches here and here and doesn't attach anywhere up there. Well, not the front wheels, I mean, but like under, does it attach? I can't remember if there's any, I think it just hooks onto the, yeah, there's nothing that attaches it there. So I think we're fine there. Now I did notice that that one floor pan is bad. Would it be worth doing that? Yeah, I'm probably going to do that right now. All right, let's see here. Out comes the seat. <sighs> yeah, are these, is it one big floor? I think it's like individual sides, isn't it? Okay, good. Oh, no. How many are left in here? One. That's not great. Not for the amount of work I got to do. Hmm. There we go. Take that off and that. Oh, that was not what I wanted, but. Is that? Oh, yeah, because it's still bolted to the floor, isn't it? All right, let's try to unbolt that. It's this. I think it's the rear control arm here. There we go. And we'll take that out. And this is a floor right for the coupe. <clears throat> Let's see. Body. Floor right coupe. There we are. This 
Now, where's my... Okay, here we go. Still got a bit of the welding rod on it. That should do. Okay. And this... That's that. Now, is that other welding rod kicking around? There it is. Might as well stick that on the welder so we don't lose it. I don't think there's anything else I have to put down there. That's good. Okay. Seat can go back in. <sighs> okay. And the lower controller can go back in. There we are. Sweet. Okay, we got a new floor. <laughs> I wish it was that easy in real life. No. <laughs> Wheels. Mm. Dude, come on. All right. Get in there, and then you can go on there. All right. Ooh, those look good. Good choice. Yeah, I took a look through the comments. I always picked the most common one. Some people didn't care. Other people thought all the wheels were ugly. This was the most common one suggested. So you guys win. We have fan wheels. I'm a big fan. <laughs> okay, let me see. All right, so. Getting these on is going to be a butt, but that's all right. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Oh my God, pick it up. Jeez. <laughs> like I can only hold down a button so hard. All right. Now wrench, please, because I might as well tighten those up. <sighs> and then probably pump them full of air. before we set them back down okay so now that oh we bought the spacers we should see it's a two inch spacer so it's it's a fairly aggressive spacer Let's pop that off for one sec. Bloop. Oh, don't, don't, don't. What are you doing? Stop it. All right, let's put the spacer on. Is it a 50 mil? Yeah, it's a 50 mil spacer. Like, that's pretty aggressive. Oh, it really pushes it out there, eh? Where's my... I think we could probably go the 40 mil. I think it's a little too far out. Should go in a little bit, but for now, I think I'll, I think I'll rock them for now. So these aren't stuck way in there. I don't like my wheels extending past the lip of the uh, body. I know some people are into that look. Uh, I think it's stupid. It just lends itself to problems. Now, I don't think I have to tighten the spacers on, do I? I don't think I do. I think it just tightens on with these. All right, let's see now. You know what? It's not... Where... Where'd the damn wrench go? There it is. Did I tighten these ones already? Oops. Yep, yeah, that was already tightened. And this. So I think we could probably go with a 40 mil. Maybe a 30. And just tuck that back in, because that's about an inch past the wheel well there. I don't like that look. Already got a wide body kit on it. But like I said, we'll rock them for now, just because we have them. And then we'll swap them out. It's a super easy swap, so it's not exactly gonna cause problems oh yeah we gotta pump this up with air
Excellent. Because I want the wheels to tuck, right? All right. Because if I just want to stick out, why even bother with the wheel wells? <laughs> this is... Okay, let me see here. Lower you down. How are you sitting? Oh, you're tucked right in, eh? Look at that. Yeah, it just needs to go in like a like a, an inch. Oh, yeah, I know what I should do while I'm here. There we go. It doesn't look absolutely horrific, but it's definitely not my style. Ooh. But I think a straight six would be great in this. It would be like an older BMW almost. Yeah. You know what's really cool is that new Dodge engine they got there with the uh, that they're replacing the Hemi with. The uh, straight six they got. Like, nobody builds straight sixes anymore, so that's kind of cool to see a new straight six. I know people have a lot of opinions on it. needs to have a V8. I disagree. I'm, um... I'm a power matters, not where it comes from. When it comes to a performance car. And that's, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, how can you say that? Like V8s are amazing. Yeah, V8s are amazing. I own a V8. I drive one. <laughs> I've had plenty of them. But again, I'm worried about my sports cars being fast. Not the displacement. I couldn't care less about. I couldn't care less about um, the sound it makes. I just want them to be fast. Alrighty. It's like I don't care what my car looks like. Like I always say I hate silver, black, and, and gray and white on cars as paint, but if a really good deal comes along in that color, I'm not saying no. Like I'm not crazy. <laughs> like if someone's like, oh man, you can have this uh this Ferrari, but it's silver, I'm gonna be like, no, gross. It's just like you can have it for ten grand, but it's silver. I'm like, oh no way. I know I'm gonna get that Ferrari and not care because I'm sitting in it. But if I do have the choice, I will I'll always avoid those colors. Now, it doesn't look the worst. Reminds me of those, like, those, was it key trucks, K trucks, whatever they are from Japan. People always put these super wide wheels on them. But uh, I just, just, I think it needs to come in a little more. I could probably bring this in a lot more. Probably to a, like a, like a 30. And I could probably bring this into a 40. What do you guys think? It does look hella mean, though. Now, someone said I should put a rake on it. They do realize that a rake adds a really bad handling characteristics to the car, right? I hope they, I hope they know that. Um, I wonder if I can... What, I want to bring that down, I think? Just slightly. I just want to tuck that lip just slightly here. So let's go... Oh, it's already there we are okay let's uh let's tighten this side up just slightly there we go i almost want to loosen this one so it's not rubbing the the lip like that let me see oh there we are there's one up because they seem to be set at their lowest what happened there? Why why did that one not go up? <sighs> okay, I can't, I can't see it if you're going to act like this game. All right, let me see. Oh, that's just bringing it down. Whoops. Yeah, I think we're going to have to run at the, that, that high point there. Because that, that's as close to okay as it's going to get. All right, well, that's all right. Okay, this is just trash, so this can go in the trash. Just like your mom. All right, there we go. So that is the suspension sorted. So I think... It needs like a trunk lid. It needs 
glass. <laughs> I think it doesn't have any glass. Yeah, we're, we don't have any glass in the windows. We need window trim on the back. We need a hood. Let's get a hood and a trunk lid and slap those on. Body. Mm, let's see. Hood. Does it have the gas cap on it? Oh, it's got a blower hood. Oh, it's got a scooped hood. Oh, does it now? A rally hood. There's more hoods than I thought. What's a what's a rally hood look like? Ah, it's got induction on it. Yeah, I could go like that. I think I look up. We don't have a turbo or anything, but anything to help cool the engine. <laughs> you know, there's a heat is the enemy of an engine, right? So put that on. Probably should wait till the engine's in, but you know, that's not how we work around here. And then this is your standard hood. So I see the difference now. And I like this one better. So this one can go in the return to sender truck. And we'll get a trunk lid. Where is it? Spoiler. I definitely want a ducktail spoiler on this too, I think. A roof spoiler. Neat. I think this is the ducktail spoiler. I can't tell. But I think that's also a front spoiler, like a splitter, you know. I'm not a big fan of spoilers, to be honest. Um, and I prefer small ones. Like, obviously, they have their uses. But... I still feel like this body is slightly misaligned. But... She's looking aggressive as hell, man. <laughs> she really is looking not bad. Well, like I said, I think I want to tuck those wheels more. Why the front wheel is sticking out so much further than the rear wheel? Did I buy more than one of those? But the wheel, the rear ones aren't bad, but the front ones are not great. So that's going to have to change. But otherwise... I guess we can throw this in here. Okay. I kind of think it looks pretty good. Um, so far, it's not done yet. We need an engine and then accoutrement. But we're going to end this episode by washing it. So, thank you so much for watching. Oh, green door. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. We need to get the rust off of this. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Looks like the original color was black. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. I love getting things all wet. That reminds me. Tell your mom I called. Out. Out.